Hi everyone, welcome to the I Don't Get It podcast. I don't get it podcast. I don't get it podcast. Well, Naz just got back from probably heaven because she went on a cruise and I'm jealous. It's funny because heaven is uh, the opposite of the word Isn't I would use funny? for this. It was hell. Did you get a cruise boyfriend? It was hell on Wait, a how many ship. days was it? Five, which is far too long to be no, on a ship not. with your it's family. it's perfect amount. Maybe it four is. days with your family. No, 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 no Seven no. is my deal. You guys, we... I am so opposite of you guys when it comes to vacation. Because, okay, let me preface. My thought of vacationing and traveling is going somewhere new and exploring and seeing no, things that's, that's not relaxing. relaxing. See, that's not my definition of vacation. I know. That's why all th- I differ okay. from you two. Okay, yeah. Whatever. So my family decided to book a family reunion cruise, meaning all 20 of us, my mom and her four sisters and all their kids, um... We're all Dominican. It's like the Santana family reunion. She's like, let's go on a cruise to Cuba. And I was like, yes, I've been dying to go to Cuba. So yes, I will fly from LA to get on this cruise to go to Cuba. And long story short, the day before we left on the cruise, our like tri- the day before, the day before, basically <laughs> our trip got trumped. And Trump made it illegal for cruises and private yachts and planes to go to Cuba from the United States. Again. Therefore, so our, yes. So Royal Caribbean emailed us. But actually, before I get to that, I should say I remember recording a podcast at my house with Ashley and Lauren. And I hadn't done much research and neither had my family. And you guys being the cruise queens that you are, because I used to go on cruises when I was little. I haven't been on them in a while. Um, you guys were like, what ship are you going on? And I was like, oh, I'm going on Majesty of the Seas. And Ashley literally was like, that is, like, sorry. Oh, Ashley literally was like, no. Naz, that is the oldest ship. And in my head, I'm like, but it's Royal Caribbean, right? Like, it's not mm. Carnival. Like, it can't be that bad. And in my head, I and then I went to the website, and I'm noticing that it's basically one of their only ships that go to Cuba. Mm. So I know my family. That's how they got people to go on exactly. Majesty still. So yeah. I didn't, I know my family. They didn't look up anything. They're just like, oh, this is the Cuba. one to go to Cuba. Yeah. We want to go to Cuba. And a little more background. Like we've been Mexicoed out. We've basically been everywhere yeah. in the Caribbean. I grew up in South Florida. I know the Bahamas. Like I could get kidnapped and be dropped off in the Bahamas and Key West and make my way back to LA. Like I know, you know those islands yeah. way well. So anyways... We were like, oh my fucking God. So obviously my mom and I were like furious because Royal Caribbean was only offering us 50% off in credit on the cruise. And then whatever you don't use on the cruise, you get back on your credit card. But other cruise lines like Norwegian or I think Celebrity that were going to Cuba were offering 100% refund, which I wanted because a lot of people go on this cruise to go to Cuba. But was it a refund and you still got to go on the ship? No, it or was like, like no more. No, no more like vacation. Your, your vacation was now like even fifty percent discounted, wasn't it? It was. You go on the ship, yeah. and fifty percent you get back in credit on the cruise. Okay, and then whatever you don't use. So, like for example, I didn't buy the drink package because you guys know I don't like love drinking. Mm-hmm. I was like, no, I'll just buy like you know a pina colada here and yeah. there when I want yeah, to. Yeah. So obviously, I spent my fifty percent on shit like that. So they basically got all my money for a cruise that I didn't even. But want you to go didn't on. have to pay extra for your pina coladas. <laughs> No, but it was like money I'd already paid. Yes, yes, yes. That makes sense. Yeah. So, you know, you got some free pina coladas, so anyways, basically. <laughs> yeah. So we went, but this ship, you guys, and I want to say I loved everyone that worked on the ship. They were like so kind and I, everyone was amazing. This ship is the most archaic thing mm-hmm. I've ever been on. It had to have been made the day Betty White was born. No, but I but have been really, on Majesty look- of the Seas. I was on this exact ship to go to Coco Cay, which is one of Royal's destinations. Yes. I why didn't they take us to Coco Cay? Like why take me to Mexico? Coco Cay is also absolutely like crawling with children and like it's it's fun if you want a theme park, but not necessarily fun. I think Coco Cay is fun. Lauren. That's the one that we went to. No, they had. They used to have an old private island in Labadee. That's Coco Cay. Labadee. No, they have a new one in the Bahamas. We oh, went. I haven't been. There. We went jet skiing last time. Yeah, I went just, Yeah, but Lauren, it was like, a, it was like going to SeaWorld. 
I think That's terror terrible. confusing. Something. I think being on any cruise ship personally is like going to Disney World and being held hostage. I just think it's a tacky way of traveling for me personally. I rather go and like be for amongst the locals. I we show up to Mexico to Cozumel and you get off and it's like Senor Frogs and Hooters and I'm like, this is America. <laughs> what am I? These destinations aren't even that great personally. Personally. Anyway, so oh, let's shit. so obviously Majesty launched in 1992. It is so old. So large. There's nothing to do on that cruise. There's no like bowling alley. Everything is like from mm. literally the 80s. Okay, but le- I also want to give props to Royal Caribbean. Um their smaller ships I feel like tend to have better, better service. service. Okay, that's what I was saying. The service was incredible and the food was incredible. Mm-hmm. The yeah. food was very good, very tasty. And <laughs> so basically, I don't want to complain too much. The cruise was so bad it was good. Like we were just hysterical laughing because everyone on there wanted to go to Cuba. Everyone was up in arms and we were stuck on like this old ship that didn't really, I didn't really have much to do aside from have my dad take pictures of me, eat at the pizza bar and just eat so much bread and drink and lay out all day. Yeah. Right. So basically that sounds amazing. <laughs> yes. Eating, but for five days, out. for five days, Lauren, you, kn- oh, you don't no, even I'm, feel fat. I feel that for five days. Uh, I will say normally at the end of a cruise, I'm ready to stop eating. And then when we land at saying. home, I'm again, and like, hmm, what's for dinner? Yeah. Okay, but- so since we've all been on cruises a lot, I think it'd be fun to go down the line and just talk about certain things. So the production value of the shows were kind of funny. <laughs> like, oh, I don't know about the shows on Majesty. I they don't know were, what the production would be on Majesty. It was uh, interesting. Um, how much money do you guys think these like cruise ship workers get paid like i genuinely felt bad for them i feel like they have they sleep on like the first level they all share rooms I think and like they, it made me really I think their sad. lifestyle sucks but what they, they do save is all save they don't, the money spend they don't spend anything spend on, on the on ship so there's rent safe, food yeah. anything and they just save what they make and then they give a lot of it to their family these cabins are so small yeah. and they share their cabins and i mean we need to have carly come on and talk about yeah that. Carly, but i thought of carly, carly so didn't much. mind that life which which crew line? She was she? on Royal Caribbean, and she was also she may have been on. She was on one more, but Royal Caribbean was her main one, the one that she preferred. Um, they make like for the countries that a lot of them are from, they make a good living for their family back at home. Okay, well that makes me happy because the whole time I'm like, I feel like they don't, they aren't compensated for what they have to like deal with because it's twenty. For almost seven. Like, do you guys think <laughs> they it'd go be for fun five or... straight months? I couldn't. Seven months, though, our wage. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Shout out to Juliet. I love so her Juliet. so much. Well, see, she like, would you, bring you me... create a great bond. No, I loved her. She would bring me a plate of 11 sourdough bread rolls, oh. and I would eat every single one because I was like, yeah. I don't care. The sourdough. 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 No, the sourdough was bomb, but there were not one good looking guy on the cruise oh, i was okay. so mad Dabbled. what if you're fucking the whole time naz you're i was so happy if i but you know it was, we were all saying if this ship went to cuba no one would be complaining about the quality oh, okay. of the yeah. entertainment everyone would have been fine because cuba's like you know this cool place that a lot of people can't really get to wasn't it just fun to be with your family though in that environment yes i think it's a, i no. think cruises are great for a family environment because you're all just there in one contained I think, spot i, mean, and there's I wish i had the iconetti family dynamic like my I love my family and I'm so happy I got to spend time with them, but I can't be around my parents for like longer than four days without getting like sick of them. Mm-hmm. Like okay. we Did just, your brother like it? He loved it. We're just so different, you know? Like uh-huh. my parents are like so religious and it's like, it was interesting actually leaving because, and I talked about this at Heartbroken Anonymous last night, that I feel like some people, some of my friends are going through the same things as millennials where like, it's opposite of your guys' situation. I feel like you guys kind of like grew and are like, your family is very much like a team unit. And so is mine. But I've always kind of felt like somewhat of, um, I've always kind of felt like somewhat of a black sheep. Um, because I don't know, my parents are super like Latin and super like old world, old school. You Mm -hmm. know what I mean? And I like moved away, like went to LA. And talking to them is like such like a, I, it's not even that. Like, I love my parents and I'm so happy to have them. And I know they love me, but like a lot of our conversations lead to arguments. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like that's why. And we're like Spanish and we're like loud and like we're all the same. Yeah, I kind of feel like that way with mom sometimes. Well, I mom feel like I'd be like, like that, but you don't get like you're really good with though. your parents. But mom's stubborn because she'll be like she her her mentalities about certain things don't evolve over time. Yeah, well that's all, that's what yeah. I mean by yeah. old world, old school. My parents are the same way, and I'm like, 
you guys, this makes no sense yeah. to me. And but I'm like, I, they're like, that's what, no, that's the way. And I was like, no, okay, you guys are being ridiculous. But yeah, I don't see dad doing that. But Yeah, but I think you, I, it's like really, that's like really big with my family currently. And it makes me sad because I'm like, like, can I even bring anyone I like, like around you guys? Are you guys going to be fucking psycho? It's like mm. literally my big fat Greek wedding, but like times 10 and like just throwing Catholicism. I want to go. Like my home parents with you. would be throwing holy water on like the person that walked through the door. And I'd be like, please marry that is me. Hilarious. I'd be like, please marry me. Like you don't have to hang out with them except once a year. I swear. Everyone That's would think why they're funny, created by you know? big fat Greek you wedding. You guys think it's though, funny, you know? but like when you're born, like it's That's true. Family. That's true. Because I get the little parts of your dad being hilarious. Yeah. Like speaking That's all. You on get, us. Yeah. But uh, I guess being around all the time may be annoying. Yeah. And five days stuck on a ship with them. It's oh, like, it's so funny. I'm so sorry. It was it would have been if I would have vlogged it or recorded it, it would have been one of those bad vacation movies. Like you know those movies that are like Jackson family vacation. Like yeah. it was such a bad <laughs> funny vacation, but I'm glad I went, obviously. Because family time. Yeah. I want to tell you guys about something new I've been trying. And since I can't find like a great therapist to go to or to work with my schedule, I started using BetterHelp, which is basically texting a counselor or having like FaceTime FaceTimes drive. or any kind of communication via the internet with your counselor. Whenever you feel like anxious, having a panic attack, you can go call your counselor or also, your therapist. I love this because um, you know how sometimes you like go through Yelp, you'll try to find like somebody really good and then you meet up with them and you're like, ah, I don't really know if I feel them. Mm-hmm. And then you're like, so I guess I'll go through the entire process over again. With BetterHelp, you don't need to do that because if you're not happy with your counselor for any reason, you can request a new one at any time for no additional charge. There are three thousand u.s licensed therapists across all 50 states um and it's just it's it's safe it's private online environment you can do it from the convenience of your home and also if you have like problems about like say your roommate or something and you don't want them hearing you just text them Text your therapist oh, about it. Sure. That's what I think yeah. about. Okay. Well, I would think like, you know, go do it out of your car or something. Like yeah, you I could guess. do that. But if you are, you know, dealing with anything, whether you're not feeling your happiness or you feel like you're not achieving your goals, you know, that there's uh, Lois, are you feeling like that? She's a happy dog. But if you guys are dealing with depression, stress, anxiety, relationship problems, which I feel like some of you on this podcast are, uh, sleeping, trauma, not this podcast, you know, you guys know what I mean. I mean, there's a lot of you out there who have a lot of relationship questions. Anger, family con- um, conflicts, LGBT matters, grief, and self-esteem. There's also financial aid that's available to those who qualify, which is amazing because we know that therapy is very expensive. Oh my gosh, it's nuts. So make sure to use our discount code, which is Get It G-E-T-I-T. It's a very affordable option for our Get It for our I don't get it listeners out there, you're going to get 10% off for your first month of BetterHelp with the discount code get it. So why not start today? Go to betterhelp.com slash get it and simply fill out the questionnaire. It's going to help them assist your needs and get matched with a counselor that you're going to love. That's betterhelp.com slash get it. That's betterhelp.com slash get it. But anyways, well, oh, can we talk about how so jealous. fat <laughs> you get on cruises? Oh, guys, the pizza bar is like the most genius, amazing I mean, thing I've ever... Just constant, constant, constant pizza. It is quite delicious. Oh, it's yeah. so... Oh God, but that's, you're such a pizza person. Like, I'll have my two slices a day. That's I don't true. go I'll back and back. I'll just have two back. slices a day, yeah. So, <laughs> was your Instagram like, caption for real, though? Did that Which little one? boy that little Yes, say? yes, because I was always there. Like, I would go... I would have it for, you know how I am. I'm like, okay, instead of breakfast calories, I'm just going to have the pizza mm-hmm. now. And then I'd be like, like the I don't. The breakfast on the buffet at the Windjammer is the greatest. Oh my God, the Windjammer. I hate it. It is really good. So, it's I hate it. I, I hate it. the name of it. It's fantastic. I like to go. I went upstairs and I was like at Johnny Rockets and Sorrento's. See, the they added the a whole Johnny time. Rockets and a Sorrento's And on look, there. they got those beautiful sugar donuts here. See those? Yes, yes. Oh, it's beautiful. just like. You guys, buffets, like there should be, like, how are you guys at a buffet? Are you the type of person that gets like one of everything or do you stick to one type of cuisine? You're like, all right, I'm going to make this a Chinese plate. Or do you have like a block of cheese next to a piece of lobster next to a French fry? Yeah, all that. Later. (laughs) The the latter. Yeah. It's so good and bad. I have a donut. You know what I really (laughs) 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. And then after you're done, you're like, what am I going to eat next? It's not yeah. even like, it's not even a question. It's like a hundred percent you're getting seconds. Oh, well, Maybe yeah. Maybe thirds. But my, um, isn't it weird that cruises are the only time, so I don't really care about things that are tacky, right? <laughs> I like, I enjoy my tacky uh, She things. says that with her press on. Now, I didn't, though. I didn't mean to say that in a mean no. way. I just mean for me, it's like if, Traveling's expensive. So, like, I rather put my money on a cabin at Big Sur than, like, the Windjammer is okay. all I'm saying. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, for me, a vacation is truly just sitting around and eating. Yeah. Sitting around. <laughs> getting some. And eating. and eating. So, like, for me, I think it'd be, like, travel is what Naz likes doing. I don't know that I call it vacation. Okay. Yeah, you're right. You know you're what right. I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. So. I like both, but yeah. I don't like just one for five days. See, I could vacation in my definition for, like, eight, seven days. And not be sick of it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I could lounge every day and eat every day let for me, seven days. Let me fix this. Let me let, throw a little asterisk on mine. Okay. I can, too, if I was by myself <laughs> or with <laughs> okay. friends okay. and maybe not my family. Does okay. that make sense? That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Um, okay. So, speaking, speaking of things that I find to be tacky, <laughs> I find a buffet off a cruise ship to be tacky why is that right like why the ones in vegas or honestly there's one in burbank that every time i see it i go if only i'd let myself go wait, in there wait actually oh, it's so true I should we do that go. we should I... just do that we should all go to the buffet in burbank and laugh our asses off eat so much and then come back and tell everyone buffets about it phase is very much a part of my upbringing like i feel like i always went to a chinese buffet oh i never Florida. gone never to a chinese buffet one. you guys it's hilarious they have like those picture frames you know the fountains that just like one little color changes but it makes a noise as if there's water do you know what i'm talking about <laughs> no. no please someone know what i'm talking about it's like the fountain picture frames oh okay yes fountain i see i know frames. i'm gonna google image continue i know okay. what it is well, but i think I, we've been to one chinese thing with mora remember like by her oh old, where were we her old like ballet studio or something yes yeah. but did we like we get anything there. no she just told us what to get like we truly got one thing oh there. yeah she was like get the egg rolls and ice cream yeah it was yeah. the ice cream was why we went there which is ridiculous it was just like a regular soft serve speaking but. of ice cream the soft serve machine yeah. on a cruise see? ship is see Naz um, likes yes. cruises no i do i do <laughs> but like god five days is a fucking long time these things Oh, I have okay. never yeah, seen yeah, those. Yeah. Oh my god! So you're out. Like, they I'll change have to put colors. This up in the face. They change colors and they make a noise. Wait, but have you guys been a soup plantation? Yeah, yeah. yeah Wait, now is I that a buffet? A I love me some soup Wait, plantation. Soup plantation is a buffet. Yeah, yes. Naz took me there for the very first Wait, time. It's a, it's a Beverly connection. Yes, yes. Yeah. I live right there. I don't it's tell a anyone. I go. Bar, it's a pizza. A, like two kinds of pizzas. It's pay and, for everything and, and soup. You, yes. yes. Do you soup. go up after, or do you pay for the entire? You pay exposure. in the beginning, and it's like literally you're bread in. sticks, you pizza, pay and you're in. macaroni and cheese, salad. The soft service. You guys, I know where we're going after the dress fitting tonight. Okay. Let's go. Yay! Okay. And we just broke the uh, fucking recorder because we just screamed so hard. Wait, so what okay. do you, Lauren, what do you love about cruises besides your world when romances you get lucky on? Um, the the waking up and getting those dry ass croissants. Because I love dry oh, yes. croissants. Yes. Um, that, that getting pretty for dinner and then getting full and then going to bed. Getting pretty for dinner is fine. The towel animals I love. Yeah. Is there a class? Like, do they take a class in those? I think they totally so. do. The orange juice and the lemonade on a cruise. Orange juice is fire. Yeah. Yes. Fire Minute Maid orange juice. And the bread. I will. <laughs> the, oh my the, God. the sourdough rolls. The sourdough rolls are so good. I just, for some reason, there's something about being on a ship where I'm just like, I can eat whatever I want. Like, I would never eat as much as I eat on a cruise as I would, like, not on a cruise. Well, yeah, because it's all free. Yeah. Also, um, I just like the breakfast. Like, their eggs are so fluffy. Don't you think? I can't have egg on morning. Oh, shit. You're right. Sausage links are nice and thin sausage links, not these big, fat, like, penises. (laughs) Penises. Yeah, they are the thin ones. Yeah. And I feel... Yeah, and you don't normally eat breakfast, Ash, so I feel like that is... I love breakfast food when it's, like, an IHOP breakfast meal, but I know I can't eat that every day. It doesn't mean that I don't like breakfast food. I just know that, like, it's not what my body needs. Did you, on Captain Night, you know Captain Night? Yeah. Wait, do you guys get, like, the... Do you guys get the photos? I mean, it's fun as so many people. You didn't get any photos, your family? Your mom got them. No, no. In front of the backdrops, like as if you're in third grade. Trust me, Naz. All of our cruise experiences. Look at that. There's one right there. That one. That one is an original cruise photo. (laughs) 
That oh. picture is iconic. It is a great um, picture. We did, all look good. We look a nice, handsome family. Did the captain come around? Oh, because no, that's awkward. They used to. No, they used to. So we had this long running joke where, like, whenever he would come on the intercom, like, hey, everyone, oh, yeah. this is your captain speaking. Yeah. I would laugh because I'm like, I feel like this is a recording and this isn't a real guy. Oh, this is your captain speaking. Is, from it, no. the bridge. is it a recording? <laughs> I well, no. it was a running joke between my family because when I used to go on cruises when I was little, the captain would always come around and he didn't come around this time. And I was uh, pissed. Oh, oh, they don't funny. do that anymore, Lauren. I don't remember him visiting no. tables, but there was they like a party in the promenade tables. and stuff. Yeah, that was the, now there's a party in the promenade. Um, the prom- <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. So do you, when you would like walk around the deck of the ship? Yeah. Like the circular, you know, like going like in a lap. Yeah. Do you not like daydream about like having a hand, like a boyfriend's hand? A hundred percent. I think the whole time I wanted a boyfriend. There. <laughs> I think it, Chris has just made me want a boyfriend. And then yeah. when I brought Jared on one, he was so cranky because it was going so south that he was like, fine, I'll go see the deck with you. I was like, I've been daydreaming and bringing my Wait, forever you, man to the deck. What do you mean it was going so south? Well, they, I love like, that didn't term. have, they had so much. It was like truly our worst cruise Wait, which was the one, one was that this? we all went on. And I can even like admit it was like, it was so, it wasn't poorly organized on our behalf. The system, the system the was down. The system was down for the first like three days of the cruise. And, and it was, was four day, day cruise. cruise. Oh shit. So like whenever you wanted a drink, they'd have to write you a ticket rather than just print out a receipt real oh, quickly with your cruise God. card. Jared and I didn't have like their, our reservation wasn't on their like docket for the oh week. So, so we had to wait for three room. hours <gasps> just like in that, you know, sign in area. Right. Which ship was this? This was Navigator of the Seas, which speaking of age of ships, Navigator came out when I was in high school and it was like the, you know, the thing. The ship. Yeah. yeah. But now I think cruise ships age quickly. I think that if it's beyond like seven years, you have to like kind of be cautious about what you're in for. If you are a hotel snob, you like have I'm to be a cruiser what you're in for. plus a hotel snob. So it does need to be fresh for me. I just think without going to Cuba, now that we can't go to Cuba anymore, I think Majesty needs to retire. I really do. But yeah. but it does yeah. have its audience, which I was dying laughing. Like there, you walk on and it's like a sea of gray. Like everyone was elderly and people just go there to like be in the casino like all five mm. days. It's nothing for them. And to me, it was hilarious because it was like Florida on a ship. Because right. you know, flo- you know, I'm very much used to like these kind of people, but it was just hilarious and like. You know, like the little contests that are always going on around yeah. the cruise, like the dance. Con- yeah. Like I'm dying laughing. Like it's so funny. It's got to be fun for them. It and is plus, a good it's time. so affordable. It's like if they live there and they just have to food. drive, park in the parking lot. Yeah, book a cruise three days before. Agreed. Agreed. You know, I mean, yeah. then you get all your food and like a little <laughs> entertainment and all that stuff. Wait, what else is wrong with your? Cru- I didn't even know you guys had a bad cruise experience that time. I like don't even remember, but Jared and I had our like room sponsored and they messed up hardcore with Damn. just like everything with us Damn. and was that jared's first cruise it was jared's first cruise and he thinks they suck now and you i just told, gotta like, get it. i've just go on another one and you'll change I his have mind never like said anything bad to like the pr company about like what you know everything's always sugarcoated with me yeah. i was super honest just because taking jared on a cruise and it's not like they covered our entire family. They just, you know, just want to let everybody out there know that we're not that spoiled. Um, I have been looking forward to like taking my future husband on a cruise like my entire freaking life. Yeah, you know, this was especially like, with your Titanic with my nostalgia, Titanic thing. Yeah. yeah. So when he didn't like it, I was so upset. So yeah, that sucks. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Let's keep that in there. <laughs> the dogs are just unreal, guys. I would definitely I would definitely give a cruise another shot. I think he needs to. But yeah. I don't Anyone. know. No, he needs to. And like actually as I get older, I just this is our last cruise thing. Sorry guys. If you haven't been on a cruise, you're probably like, okay, mother of God. Mother of God, stop talking. Yeah. Um my friends who have been cruising forever. Like I have this one friend, like it's the husband of my, my good, my college mm-hmm. roommate and stuff. Mm-hmm. He used to go on like three cruises a year mm. and they now as adults like to go on celebrity instead I've of Royal Caribbean. I've been on celebrity. I've been on a region, which I love. When it comes to like treatment and luxury and high quality, it's like the five star 
cruise line. So my friends who have gone on all these cruises, they love celebrity now as an adult because they don't need the rock wall, which you said you don't need. They yeah. don't need a my roller dad went skating up or basketball or anything like that. They're like, we just want to drink good wine, eat good food and lounge and read a book. I love them. And they say that it is just, it's very classy everything's like super clean and great a well you know if celebrity wanted to offer the i don't get it podcast <laughs> like a complimentary trial like i'm down yeah you know? so we'll go for a lifetime i swear to god <laughs> if there's anyone out there who can provide us with a free vacation i will fucking wear a shirt that says celebrity cruise line every day in my yeah. life so dear i want to try line. that we're I, trying yes. to get um jared into cruises so i think you hit the nail in the wrong. coffin i think i have graduated from carnival and royal and i think i just yeah. need something more that's yeah. it that's what it is now, but the ships aren't like extravagant they're not like these new huge ships. Yeah, they're but there medium aren't size. five million 12 year olds in the right. pool. So no, I don't want to get in because I know it's pee infested. Yeah, exactly. Yes. But also the old people may be peeing in the pool too. No, 100%. <laughs> so Lauren and I do laser hair removal. Um, Lauren doesn't do her whole body. She does just her cha-cha and her armpits. So she still has to shave her legs on the regular. Mm -hmm. And I usually, I shave, you know, every once in a while. And I always shave before appointments. So yesterday I used the Billy razor and uh, the shave gel for the first time. And I was like, oh, holy damn. I was like, this is special. The Billy razor, you actually don't even need the gel with. Honestly, it's so smooth oh, without really? it. I'm, not, I'm one of those people who doesn't usually use shave gel or, or shaving cream or anything. Because you're lazy and cheap. Because I'm lazy <laughs> and cheap. But the Billy razor is it's so smooth. Uh, it's also, speaking about for, for all you cheap people out there, uh, the Billy razor is a premium razor that is direct, sent directly to you for half the price of what you'd find in the store. So not only is it better, it's half the price, which uh, just a win-win all around. For only $9, you can get four refill blades every one, two, or three months based on how often you shave. And each razor cartridge includes five American-made blades. Five! Blades. <laughs> That's more than you're ever going to get at the drugstore. That store. is a shit ton. Encased in aloe shave soap for the smoothest shave gel and gentle on sensitive skin. They also have more space between each blade to allow shave cream, soap, and hair to pass uh, on by. Exactly what I just yeah. said. Um, just a couple little tidbits about shaving and women out there. I think that everybody should know. Women's razors can cost up to 15% more than men's it's called the pink tax because like literally they make it like special and fancy for us women or they think they are and then they jack up the price the idea that women should be paying the same product as men and it's more expensive for us is absolutely outrageous and, and dumb mm -hmm. um also you may not know that women shave 10 times the surface area of men I mean, their face Obviously. versus like our entire yeah. bodies, basically. Um, but razors like aren't developed for that job, you know, like because men just like have to go. Shh, shh, and then for us, it's like. Shh, shh. Yes, Ashley, everyone totally <laughs> understands what you're saying. Okay, okay, okay you're right. Get free um, shipping always. Skip, adjust or cancel your subscription at any time. Oh, I also just want to say that it's one of Allure's best of beauty winners. And it's also on Nylon's beauty hit list. And to express a little love for our show, go to mybilly.com slash get it. It's a small way you can show support for us while getting your best razor you will ever own for half the price of razors in the store. Plus free shipping always. Go to mybilly.com slash get it. Spelled M-Y-B-I-L-L-I-E dot com slash get it. And also, you guys, just know it's like the shaving cream and razors. They're just absolutely wonderful. Um, uh, can we go back to buffets for just one second? Yeah, and then I actually I want to hear about Lauren because I feel like you're moving. Oh, yeah, yes. but about I, I want to talk about Royal um, <laughs> Golden Corral. Golden Corral. Wait, I'm so happy you brought that up. We're on the same page. <laughs> no, so um, Golden I've Corral only, is a delicacy in South Florida. I've, I've only been there time. once. It was our cousin's <laughs> graduation from the Fire Academy, and they <laughs> I all. Don't know why that's so I funny. I said it because it is kind of funny. Yeah. Why is it okay, so funny? It is funny because there was a Golden Corral like two miles from the graduation point and they're like we're all meeting at golden corral afterward and, and i was like oh, oh my, my god i was like oh dear god we're going i was Yo, like at 24 out. years old i was like i can't believe i'm going to go the corral. characters the waiters at golden corral are characters so there's a cheese fountain a chocolate fountain. <laughs> chocolate fountain i mean i did not hate it you, but it, you thrive in these situations but i need to know who i throw sees up one. when i walk in who sees one and goes i'm gonna stop there 
everyone in Florida. Everyone in Florida? So I do love like, a good salad bar, though. Like Ruby, Ruby Tuesdays. Tuesdays. But <gasps> Ruby what? Tuesdays. where are the Ruby Tuesdays anymore? Is it just an East Coast thing? Maybe, but Ruby Tuesday salad bar Apparently, is bomb. Sizzler, ha- Sizzler on the West Coast has salad bars. For some reason, Sizzler, I'm not inclined to walk in just blue simply because of the name. Bits. I think it's just Ruby Tuesdays, guys. I I mean, you know, I come from the land of Applebee's and Chili's. I've only been to Applebee's like twice in my life. I went on a very classy date with my ex-boyfriend <laughs> in Ohio to an Applebee's Actually, one time. it was Iowa. Oh, one? Iowa. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it does not offend no. the Iowa I'm not. Here, I'm sorry. But he was like, I was Four like, is, I hated him. Okay. And I was like, are, is he going to take you to a nice dinner while you visit? And she's well, yeah, like, we yeah, are yeah. going to the nicest place in town. And that is Applebee's. <laughs> That's so funny. But you know what? it's funny to me like it's delicious being in high school or even like early college like if a boy took me to one of those i would think it's like cute actually Aww. i would have it would been very sweet and i never got offered to do that Aww. well me neither. we had a tavern in town i went on a date to the tavern Who'd you go on a date with? i want to go to cheesecake My factory date. always oh, wow. always i want to go to cheesecake factory mm-hmm. brown bread solid brown bread <laughs> You can get oh, that's you something want. that we were talking about last time. Magianos. We were all together, you guys. We were at Magianos, and we were like, "Why is it that the Magianos and the Cheesecake Factories on the East Coast are so nice? Like, you feel like you're going to a nice restaurant, right? Yeah. And then the ones on the West Coast, they put no effort into. It's, it's like park. because no. LA looks down on franchises. I know. Because like the literally the state vegetable is kale and avocado yeah. here avocado is a fruit so if you're making a conscious know. decision to go to a chain restaurant you're gonna be like shit on yeah. when you get there absolutely which is why here we go like the three of us will go there almost as a joke being yeah. like i want to taste home let's go over there it'll be funny we'll go to a chain restaurant for dinner why the hell is that funny i know and then like <laughs> we go home, to wood ranch and cheesecake yeah. and to be honest i love you guys i feel like you're my only friends that'll like go Oh, really? Because yeah. then, like, at home, if we suggest cheesecake or Maggiano's, it's like, oh, yeah, it's a nice night out with yeah. family. Because I think there's more food. Maybe there's more food options here. I will say that rigatoni that I had at Maggiano's was... Got it again with oh, our mommy. You got it? it so good. With the turkey sausage or no? No. Or with the sausage? Right? It doesn't need just, the sausage. Need no, sausage. I don't know, you guys. I think the sausage mm, makes... Fuck sausage. No, I don't sausage. Like sausage. Fuck sausage. sausage. Mommy, would you like some sausage? That's no, okay. Chini, let's, though. Let's get mm-hmm. off the food mm-hmm. for... Oh, I have a quick fine. question for you guys. Oh, okay. I would like to know about your life. And also, I actually have a very interesting story to tell you about. About what? Well, you'll find out at the end. I burped in there. Um, Would you guys ever move into an apartment that's had carpet for for five years? Five years? What color is the carpet? It's not a great color. Oh, what What color is it? it? It's like a a tanny orange. Oh, (laughs) shit. Shit. (laughs) Really? Why would they put that in there five years ago? Is it hard hard carpet or is it the consistency of like the vagina of a Muppet? Um, no, it's, it's not. It's, it's not, not hard. I know it's second. Right? You know, I like think it's softer. It's fluffy. Than the hard. It's not so. Hard. It's, so it's even older because you know a hard carpet's like newer. Yeah, you know, a hard carpet. You it's know what not she a means hard by that. Like it's tightly woven. It's not a hard. Did carpet. anyone die in this apartment? I don't previously? think so. Did anyone smoke in this apartment? I don't think so. Did anyone own a cat in this apartment? I don't previously? think so. Okay, then yeah, maybe. It's really I would buy I'm my sure, own rug and put it over it. That's why I thought. So is it okay to put a rug over carpet? Absolutely. I will come with you. We'll buy ten and we'll layer them. Would it cover the whole thing or just like a section of it? A section. Did you see Becca's place? Like she had little carpets all over her carpet, her wall to wall carpet. Yeah, but Becca probably had like probably a nice. Becca had fucking chip and chip games or whatever they're. Chip and Joanna Gaines came over and did Chip that. Chip Gaines came over and fucking did Becca's apartment. Let's be real. I got real. a 500 square foot one bedroom I'm trying to take care of. <laughs> <laughs> that we're like fixing up with TJ Maxx that you know exactly. I can't stand. Oh, yes. Yes. We'll be decked yes. out in Ross and Marshalls. Can yeah. you can you give me a comparison of what color the carpet is? Like what color does it look like? Does it look like an orange? Is it tan? Like it's a, like a peach maybe. A light peach. Oh, that sounds bad, Lauren. What color is the bathroom? And I told him, I go, I would move in tomorrow if you get rid of some gray hardwood and Lord. then he was like it'll be an extra hundred a month but that's i'm like that's a, yeah but, but then that's you add so that up at hundred a year Should, i don't know yeah think about paying twelve hundred dollars to get carpet taken Should out I I really? would yes. he would he um would it be like your color heart like would it be gray hardwood i said gray very specifically i i would <laughs> obviously Lord. i would i know your financial situation so yeah. probably i don't know maybe i, I could live with it for it a little you. bit the carpet and mm-hmm. if i'm like this is disgusting but lauren don't you feel like the orange carpet's gonna clash with your yellow couches that's oh, no Lord. that's Maybe gonna be should. like i don't know that's gonna be like a telly living room 
Maybe you should ask him to do it. You don't have a picture of it? Why don't you take pictures? I didn't pictures? take a picture. How can do you we go take look pictures? at it? Yeah, can we go? We can go look at it. Let's go. Okay. All right. Bye, guys. Thanks for listening. <laughs> no, <I'm kidding. laughs> okay. So, um, wait, more on Lauren. So, yeah, Lauren, no, when are you moving? Because this um, is it's fascinating. kind of like when all this, the odds and ends get tied up, but it would be July 1st. That's so soon. It's very soon. And you weren't planning on moving out that sooner, oh, were I you? I was going to talk No, about. because I wanted to move out before the wedding, but also I don't want to move out August 1st. Obviously, that would be a trap. Like, that would be too, too much shit going on. Yeah. And I don't want to move out after the wedding because then it's what If you moved wedding. out on August 1st, then, like, we'd have, like, your miscellaneous here still, and I would be driven crazy while... I'm yes, doing everything this is over perfect there. timing. Yeah. But aren't you guys gonna miss living? I'm together? gonna really miss you. I'm gonna really miss Gergi. I've really been um, utilizing those bur- the birds and the and the wheels out there uh, in Los Angeles. Yeah, because you can just I don't come have a car right and here. It's four blocks, maybe. Wait, so yeah. are you gonna get a car? Or no? I mean, like maybe if I really feel like I I need to, but I don't. But right now, like the place I can is either so bird or wheel over here, Wait, or I can. I don't know. You know what's, what's a good called. solution? Huh? I you can have my car for a thousand bucks. I will buy it. <laughs> Seriously, it'll drive just the doors don't open. Are you remember, getting a new one? I'm trading it in, but they're only giving me a thousand. So if you want a running car for a thousand dollars, I'll take it. So, and yeah. plus, just make sure that you have like an a- an axe. <laughs> to <laughs> to make sure with- that you have like, if you do take her car, you'd have to like get a hammer so you can like punch the windows out because she can't. Well, that's the thing. You can't go in. Only the driver's door opens. Yeah. After so my like, accident. if you were getting an accident, you would need to like slam yourself out of it. No, she would be able to get out. Just the passenger wouldn't. Right, so just get a freaking hammer to. Just, okay, I'll yeah. take the one that Bubba gave you. But Lauren, it's been great Remember? because when people are like, "Oh, should we take your car, or my car?" I'm no. like, "Well, do you want to climb in the front seat?" And people are like, "No." So no one wants to take wow. my car. So your passenger door doesn't work, and and it the, won't open at all. You can get it fixed, but. Oh, okay. I love that this podcast is full of sponsors that we truly, truly love, including Liquid IV. Lauren, when was the silly yet amazing time that I used liquid IV? Uh, at your bachelorette party. And it was I, amazing. Thank God for it. It was literally after your first drink, she was pouring liquid IV into all of our water bottles, and we didn't suffer the next day. No, I was like, I'm 31. I'm going to enjoy myself without having to stress about how tomorrow's going to be. And tomorrow, the day after, I was so fine. So but fine. I swear to you, it's because of liquid IV. It keeps me... What's, what, this is what's so amazing about liquid IV. It... Basically puts three water bottles into one. There's a special technology. It's called cellular transport technology. So it's a specific ratio of glucose, sodium, um, that is mixed into... Oh, so it's a specific ratio of glucose, sodium, and potassium that when mixed with a 16-ounce bottle of water helps your body absorb more of the water and nutrients you drink directly into your bloodstream plus it's it's non-gmo it's got clean ingredients it's vegan it's free of gluten soy and dairy it's a very healthy alternative to other sports drinks like pediolite gatorade no artificial flavors or preservatives and i think it works better for i think it works better hydrating sometimes i'll have a headache that won't go away even with advil and if i drink a liquid iv Mm, boom gone. fascinating that's when i knew this stuff was gold Liquid IV donates one serving to people in need around the world for every order place, which is awesome. And health conscious everyday athlete IV fuels tough workouts, helps prevent muscle fatigue, promotes healthy post-workout recovery made with clean ingredients and it's a portable powder packet. Let's mention again, they donate one serving to people in need around the world for every order placed. It's now also available at Costco nationwide. So you can order it online at liquidiv.com and enter our promo code, which is get it to get your savings, which is 20% off, 20% off for I don't get it listeners at liquidiv.com when you use our code get it. So we recommend you go online, get the 20% discount, or you could also get it at Costco. Just know that Liquid IV saves you from headaches, dehydration, all of that, especially when you're like flying, drinking, going through like a dry season. If you live in a dry area, I'm a huge fan. Just go buy it. Try it for yourself.
Um, okay, wait. So I want to talk about more LA apartments before we talk about actually Lauren moving okay. out. Which yes, I am. Sa- I'm I'm gonna be sadder about Lauren moving out when she's actually out because it makes me so happy to know that Lauren's home. Like Aww. whenever she stays yeah. at Jack's, I'm like sad because I want her to be. I'd rather her be here. Yeah. But then like if it helps with like you know Jared feeling more like this is his home, then right. like that then that's gonna make me happy too. That's so. true. Like I didn't even think of how this would affect Jared and. Yeah. I took Jared well, to look at one be, apartment. And say, it's great. Get it. <laughs> it's still going to be pink and gray in here. <laughs> um, no, it's not. We're, that's what we're hoping to redo in, in, in G- uh, July. Are you going to add some manly We're going to do like a lot of navy blues where there are pinks. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. Navy and pink. So it'll be gray yeah. and navy blue rather than gray and pink. Yeah. yeah. So um, Lauren, looking at these places with her, I've realized there are these places in LA that haven't been renovated. There's a shit ton of them. And they have like pink tile in the yeah. in the bathroom, green tile in yeah. the bathroom. Mm-hmm. Who the fuck thought I'm gonna put green tile so in the bathroom? Okay, so I, you guys are gonna think there's some that are atrocious. Yes, but, but you think it's kind of cool. The vintage is so dope because a lot of old houses in Miami have it. And I found one apartment I remember that had brown, and I was like, "This is dope." Like it wasn't dark, ugly brown. It was mm-hmm. like you know the light brown no, you that I love. Definitely, loved. definitely make it work. Like there's a lot of black and white checkered yeah. floors. I'm like, that's cute. I don't hate the color tile unless it's like yellow. Like I can do green, pink, and brown. But, but yeah, yellow is piss everywhere. Yellow is really bad. You know what I do love um, when it comes to like color and decor is I love Mexican style. You if like you Spani- to- Spanish. Mexican or Spanish yeah. style? Like if the you- Bachelor House? Yeah, that's well, that's Spanish more like style. Mediterranean Spanish. But yeah. I'm saying, like, if you were to get a vacation, I was watching a House Hunters, and these guys were looking at vacation homes in Mexico, and they were trying to deal with whether they were going to go like with the vintage look, like the traditional Mexican look, or mm-hmm. whether they were going to go with something modern. Mm-hmm. And in Mexico, I prefer the traditional look okay. with all the bright colors. It's yeah. so cool. Beautiful. Yeah. All the tile, like the yeah. brown tile. It's really awesome. Everything like white and simple. Around for me, I, there's time and a place for me, like maybe my beach house. Yeah, but I do feel like with like LA apartments so having mm-hmm. that color it just signifies how old that tile yeah. is and how many like yeah. feet sat it's so on old. it it's funny now because you guys know my aesthetic which is very like neutral colors like Native more American-y. like yeah well my room specifically is Native American but the style is more like French you know minimalism mm-hmm. but we're entering this whole new age of maximalism um and it's like more is more, oh. and color is really okay. going to be like a Where thing. So I feel like your apartment for decor, or for decor, for decor and fashion, oh, okay. like you know Gucci's, like the styles yeah. are crazy. So I feel like you are going to be very much like in. Oh, cool. Yeah, good. People I do, are like over the like neutral stuff, you know. But I'm, I still love it. I just I like it calms neutral, me. Yeah. It calms me. I like neutral. I have for no inside. other choice but to have yellow couches, so I'm going to embrace the color. I like it. You know? I think it's pretty. Um, oh, but I like color and fashion right now. I yeah, like I like the more. vibrant co- yellows and pinks you and all that. You look pretty in those colors. You do. I don't. I like to stay in like black. Beige I feel or like white. you would look great in those bright colors. And no, all she would look bad. Of, I mean, mm. like neon and stuff is like not a nice. bright pink on Naz though. No, but her skin tone and her yeah, hair color. Maybe pink, but no. For some on camera stuff, but not like something that I like am excited to wear out during the day. Yeah. I rather wear like new khaki like pants a white shirt and a red lip you know yeah because you can't wear the red lip why the hell are they sorry i'm like very fired up i'm like what the fuck what the hell (laughs) um why is there so much (gasps) (gasps) (laughs) lauren just lauren that's not a good thing (laughs) she She threw something on the ground okay um why the hell what the the anticipation is up with i'm all about colored eyeshadow i think colored eyeshadow is awesome it actually looks way prettier than you think it's gonna look it's i think maybe it works really well on brown i was gonna say you did pink recently on instagram i loved it yeah great content i liked that one (laughs) yeah thank you so i'm like all about especially in the summer when there's like a little more tan going on experimenting with pink eyeshadow but i don't understand why they're selling these like color eye pencils i mean um colored uh, brow pencils Uh. and all like the weird like uh, blue lipstick and green lipstick, all that stuff. Like, no, I don't. Feel, I think the brow thing kind of is cool if you do have colored hair, yeah. like you have vibrant colors in your hair I think and it, it depends, matches, but not the 
blue lipstick. I think it depends how you do it. But I think, again, we're going into this whole new phase now where, like, more is more. I've been dying to find neon color liner pencils because I think it's, like, fun if you do, like, a really pretty, like, basic makeup mm-hmm. and then you have, like, you know, a little neon orange yeah, hair. I, no, think that's that's, cool. I think that's cool, But too. not a lot of it. Like, one line here, one line right. there. Right. I do do that. You do, like, a little yeah, dab or, but, like, on the top lid, not on the bottom Yeah, lid, but I went to Sephora to buy it and they didn't have it. And then I went to Urban Decay headquarters for a clever video mm. and I asked them and I was like how come it's so hard to find like neon like makeup in general mm-hmm. and she was like it's illegal I guess like what yeah like I guess it's not like FDA approved or something oh, so it's like really, dies yeah so I feel like whoever's selling it you guys mm. gotta like look into like if they can actually be oh but I'm just like who's gonna choose to wear blue lipstick I would I wear tried blue it lipstick for a minute, made my teeth look really yellow oh yeah that would do that mm-hmm. but like you're never I don't know, like to a concert or something. Like, when are you gonna wear it regularly? I think Shit, I, see I that think all you the have time. a lot of instances in your life where you can wear it. Like, if you go to a red carpet ashing, you wear like an all white dress or something, or like even a blue dress, and you make the look monochromatic with your lip. I feel like that would be a cool look. I love monochromatic. I want everything monochromatic. I, I the blue lip is very extreme. I think no, that yeah. is very hard to pull off. But I'm saying like any I think you have a lot of instances in your life where you can experiment with fun stuff like that. Yeah, I guess. I just think even the general public. Yeah. Like, yeah. Why why is Fenty someone said not wear the blue lipstick. Honestly, no, don't but... wear the red lipstick either. Or the remember, red... no yeah. one wanted to fucking make out with me for that whole year I wore red lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was like that well, was you like do look great in red or lipstick. when you do kiss the guy and then he pulls pulls away and he's covering lipstick and he's just smiling and doesn't know. Like, oh, like, gross. Bad. Speaking of kissing the guy. Did you kiss the boy? You do? No, I didn't kiss the boy, but I have an update. Well, kind of, I have an update for you guys. Okay. So when I was on my cruise, so before I went on my cruise. Oh, I was going to ask, did you fuck the bartender on your cruise cruise last summer? (laughs) You remember from from Hangover? I don't know. Whenever I say cruise. Wait, we haven't talked about Jared's bachelor party, quote unquote. That wasn't really a bachelor bachelor party. party. So you should remember Vegas. Oh, he's having all these little things. It's more of like a bachelor. (laughs) That's a guy hang. Um. So before I, I'm so hesitant to talk about Big right now on this podcast. Oh, please do. But he's the most interesting. Before I went on the cruise, you guys know I went in a car accident. I haven't talked to That's Big right. like really in a year, but I had reached out because I don't know. He just knows about that stuff. And I knew he knew people that could help me get like a good car and stuff. And I'm just like so past him that I was like, it's fine. Let me reach out. You just need some help. But since then that kind of like, you know, opened the doors. And so I'm on my cruise and he like texted me and he was like, Hey, just wanted to check in and like, see what's going on with your car and blah, blah, blah. So then we got to talking and then he's like, I'd love to catch up like when Stop. you're back. So I was like, okay, I'm free this night. So Tuesday night I went to dinner with big <gasps> and I, I'm so scared to like talk about this on the podcast. We cannot put this in the description because when I sat down, the first thing he said to me is he goes, I listen to your podcast and I go, what episode? <laughs> and he goes, the last one, he's like, how have you never seen forensic files? And I was like, oh my God, thank God. He like tuned into the Rocket Man Aladdin like oh fucking God. podcast. And I'm like, why are you listening to what if like, he I was the say, one before like about your two dates in one night it's that doesn't matter to me yeah. but like i've just mentioned him so many times i mean he doesn't know i yeah. reference him as big but like still i'm like scared but i mm-hmm. feel like if we we're deep enough in the podcast right yeah. that i don't think he'd make yeah, it I won't this description. anyways so we go to dinner and it's obviously like we haven't like it's just so comfortable like we have such great chemistry it's like we haven't skipped a beat but there were also parts of me that felt like i have evolved as a person and i don't know if he has and like i think my biggest thing with him is i don't know if he can i he lacks a lot in the communication category Mm -hmm. and you guys know i'm so open book like i love talking about emotions that i often wonder like could i ever be with someone where i feel Mm -hmm. like i have to like pull things out of them like always i have to pull things out of jared i think actually not, it's probably like a it's really? probably probably prefer that i don't know it probably maybe no. works better like that no jared like was on the bachelor and he's used to like opening up and i think in general like you could text jared probably all day if, if you, you ask wanted. he would answer but if you ask big would he give you the real truth right like yeah, it's like that's it, true. it takes like digging yeah. and Anyways, long story short, I won't go too much into detail. I'll tell you more when we're not recording. But it seems as though this person is at a point where he is, like, ready (gasps) to, like, not necessarily with me, but realizing that he's, like, getting to an age where he is ready to commit. And he was saying things like, 
I don't want to like let you go again and like blah 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 and I was just well, like that's a uh, heart jumping but it also doesn't mean anything because it's like whatever it's like words and I feel like I would have to like really really see it and I also feel like my type is like really evolved anyway so I went to his place just to check out his new place we watched forensic files I passed out because I was like so jet lagged because I like got in that day and um you I don't know. And I, watch for that's a great. Day. I actually love that episode, yeah, Lauren. It was good. Um, you told the you watched the one that she suggested. No, oh, we, okay. I knew it was like season seven. I just like let mm-hmm. him put one on, but it was really good. All right, wow. very good. Now, like the shocking information. <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, that's my update. Okay, well, that's mm. great. All I, our updates will be shitty now. Yeah. No, well, that's not true. I have only, no updates. The yes, only, you do. Yeah, I don't have updates either. Um, yes, you do. Well, we are going to go try on my second wedding dress today. Yeah, yes, but I really dress. wish. How that- are you feeling? Because we are so close to your wedding. I know it's, it's two months now. I, know, I got your summer. invitation in the mail. It's, it's stunning. Really, something it's isn't so it? It's so stunning. I love it. It's it really quite is quite epic. Like I normally throw out a lot of them, and yours yeah. is on the fridge. Oh, thank you. It's, It'll probably be on the fridge for a while. That's the whole point of it. Yeah. It's really, there's so much to do. So, and I already really mailed back my RSVP. I'm like actually kind of scared. What do you have to do? Um, it's like. There's like little details that I have like a list of. I need to like solidify a DJ. I need to solidify a DJ. That's one thing. And I, then you need to solidify need to. like your extensions. Um, like you my solidify extensions. your jewelry. Oh wait, who's jewelry? Doing your hair? I have no idea. Jewelry, Lauren. I didn't need to decide. What I'm going to do a practice hair. run on exactly what you did yesterday yeah. and see if you like it just as much. Jewelry. And thank good. you for adding jewelry to my list. Um, I need to figure out Shoes. who's singing the song that I go down the aisle to. I need shoes. I thought you figured that out. I thought that was Jared's. Um, he hasn't formally asked his friend yet. Don't know why it's been so difficult for really? him to just ask. Ask. It's yeah. coming down the wire. I know. Yeah. And then, but he is um, going to the wedding, right? Yeah. Okay. So I mean, he's already going to be yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. So okay. it's not like um, song. I need a song list for both the DJ and the orchestra. So I need like the songs that I want played, like as they are, and the songs right. that I want to be covered. You're so good at that. Way. You're so good at that. Well, that's actually what I'm most looking forward to, and it shouldn't take long. I but feel it's like just, if like, you a just sit thing. down on the couch, you yeah, know, and like. Yeah, have I a nice to, Coca-Cola. Yeah. You'll knock it out. I need to book hotels for like the every vendor that's coming to the wedding. Oh the cake God, maker, you, you're paying for David. the vendors' hotels? That's what's killing us right now. Ashley, what? Yeah, That's travel, a travel massive expense. Yeah. But it's so crazy. even though like we are getting breaks here or there, when you're like, oh, I got a break on this, I got a break on this, but then you don't realize that you have to fly and hotel them. Oh my God. You're like, oh, An extra Kurt. 600, oh, great. 800. Have you, have you like pushed back a little on that? And you said like, you know, if there's one thing we've pushed back on big time and that's the flowers. So that's oh, you a, did. So we may need to find a new florist who I know who I would go with if we don't go with the floors that we were originally doing. But like this, the money was way too much. It's so dumb. Flowers die. Um, like as much as I love them. Oh yeah. No, it's because flowers die and because like they don't really play a role in how much fun somebody had. Right. And, um, we're feeling something. Else. I feel um, like there's something else. Rehearsal dinner. We don't know where we're having the rehearsal dinner. Whoa, wait, Wait, Ashley, that's like around the corner. I know. In your rehearsal outfit. Well, my rehearsal outfit, I think I know they're having it sent over here to me. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. Did that's, you write, sorry, I, did you write shoes on there? Oh, or shoes, motherfucker. Yeah. That's like so bad because shoes the are really determinant on yes. the, the. And they have to be comfortable. Well, what they, what my shoe, my, um, my wedding dress expert, Nairi. Nairi said is that i'm supposed to so she has the hardest name ever you can go look at her up on instagram it's nay it's she the one i met she's yeah. stunning yeah. she's yeah. so perfect together yeah. she's very like royal yeah she should, be, she should be like an egyptian princess regal is how i would describe yeah. this woman so she says that i should have three different shoes with different platforms throughout the night since the shoe's not gonna show you take and i'm the not weight a off the ball of your foot in different, different places angles. i agree genius yeah. you never see the shoe the right shoe no the shoe, i'm not gonna wear steve madden's like i really don't care <laughs> I will so. say, 
No, it no I don't you know, know I'm not a shoe care. person. You don't care. I don't Because you know how dresses effort. are like put away. Shoes are something that kind of do last forever that are easy to take with you forever. And yeah. it's like you these shoes that you marry daughter, the love of yeah. your life in. No, I they know. They can become something like really special if you totally. wanted it to. But like that something would just mean other... something, something, something new. That's like a whole other expense Do you me? give that to Lauren? I, I could mean, give her something ask... borrowed. I have no idea what my something borrowed is. Oh, I'll give you something new. Is there anything from your mom's wedding that you can My mom didn't have a wedding. They just got married at the courthouse. Wait, did I? Yeah, I think we talked about this. Your mom's so chic. Did she (laughs) ever want a wedding? She She has her wedding shoes still. Oh, really? Yeah. But aren't they like little nubs? They're like kitten heels. What size? She's too big. Yeah, Yeah, she's too big. Oh, that'd be such a cool something. Mom wore like, you would have liked it. She like wore like a jacket with a skirt. Oh my God. So (laughs) SJP. It's very (laughs) SJP. Oh my God. I love it. (laughs) I kind of want to do that. Save all my money. Uh, So yeah, those are what I have to do, which is is, uh, definitely stressful. They may sound like little tasks, but they're just actually, it's the money behind them that's so stressful. Yeah. Because my parents are definitely, are like doing a lot of the wedding. You know, they're paying for a lot of the wedding, but Jared and I are definitely paying for things that are extra like yeah. extra like not like extra little tidbits but like make the wedding extra Correct. yeah yeah oh well i'm so excited oh, damn that's cra- i didn't realize you had to pay for trouble for all vendors that's crazy Can oh you- our wedding chip ch- our wedding cake championship should be airing in like two weeks Ooh, so everybody can see our channel? baker on um the food network yeah that is so cool yeah so we really did decide to go with the person who won the championship that's so cool yeah are they gonna make the same thing that people are gonna see on tv or i really different? have no problem if she were to do the very same thing she made that what one flavor was it um it was chocolate in, in the inside and vanilla on the outside with some raspberry fillings and it's like some uh is there like some coconut something on the in the oh, I love I don't coconut, know. coconut shavings i love yeah me too um i'm all about more the look of that cake than i am about the uh the taste of the it the taste of it yeah so wait where else we're, we're not cake else? people we're, yeah we're just not cake people what were we here how are you feeling before? internally um like is has it set in because I feel like you no, are someone we've been that talking you're about a this daydreamer. All week long. Oh. I feel like I'm not gonna think it's like happening until we land the... in New England. Yeah, and I then like every people keeps wait. coming in. I've never really. I've just driven through Rhode Island, but I feel like it's such a magical, like it's romantic. It's gonna be so perfect. Is it humid there? Yeah, it's super humid. Oh, I need so many hair products. I'm so sorry. No, I. I grew up in South Florida. I can yeah, deal with that. <laughs> but what else was I going to say? Uh, there's probably a million other things you're forgetting. What about our dresses? Your dresses are on their way. But do they come here or Rhode Island? They are going to... You know what? I think they're coming here. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. I think they're coming I here. Wondering. And I think they might be ready by the bridal shower, which is very nice. Oh, yay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's coming up. Jesus yeah, I'm actually... Course. See, see, see that? Happening. See, that's like so more scared. immediate, and I'm yeah. really excited about yeah, that. Yeah, that's going be the, I feel like sensing... Don't worry, Lois is very She's excited. Okay. She's excited too. too. But anyway, Lauren, how's Lois the speech is going writing going? To make it down the aisle. I'm going to start writing the speech in my. Oh my god, writing vows is like a whole other thing. That's so stressful. No, but you're going to ceremony. It. I'm scared for writing your vows. The ceremony. I'm scared for your vows. Oh, my makeup's going to be fucked. Yeah, I'm just going to take an Adderall so I have no emotion. No, <laughs> that's so funny and true, though. <laughs> sorry, I, sorry, Ashley. I'm single. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm going to be a wreck. No makeup needed. Oh, that's funny. Okay. Anyway, well, thanks for right, tuning in. I really this. wanted to talk to you about something else that I don't even remember My dress. now. No, your life. Oh. Yeah. Well, how's are you? You're slaying at the hair school. You're going to get your new apartment. Are you have? Gonna when take you clients look, at my house. When you look at these new apartments, do you think about that's where all your I hair? Think about. Okay, yeah. It's like Cheryl go here. Cheryl go there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, I don't know what it was. I mean, I have so much to ask Lauren, but a lot of what I asked Lauren cannot. It cannot be televised. Yeah. Televised. All Uh, right. Well, because Lois, (laughs) this is a squeaky little sucker right now. Oh, we didn't talk about Jonas. That's why. That's okay. We'll have another one about Jonas. Well, can I just share one thing? Because obviously we haven't talked about it together. Sorry, guys. Um, Tell us if this is too much of a Jonas podcast. We should do a poll. Like, how many of you, like, are Jonas fans on the... I don't care if people are or aren't. They are one of the best boy bands ever. They have, like, this... They have an unshakable thing because they are family. And that's yeah. like so special that we don't get in the music industry. And watching the documentary, which I actually would recommend watching before you listen to the album, I because I listened to the album 
before and it wasn't as it was a it wasn't underwhelming at all i love the album but it was better after i saw the documentary but for me the only thing i want to say and put out there in the world is i truly felt like chasing happiness or is it happiness begins well happiness chasing happiness, be- happiness chasing happiness is the movie yeah so happiness i truly feel like chasing happiness is hashtag justice for Kevin. Well, every, I feel like I that's so what sorry. everybody's big takeaway has the, been. W- there is a scene between Joe and Kevin where they are being so honest mm-hmm. with each other. And it made me not like Joe as much as I used to like Joe. And I am so sad for Kevin. And so I mean, when he said, we felt like you were bringing us down. Yeah. I didn't feel like I had any, why would I wouldn't, I didn't feel anything against Joe in that moment. He was being super honest. Yeah. But, and the way he explained himself came like really full circle. It started out mean, but then when he actually like described the feeling, yes, it made sense. But it was, it was cold. I felt I feel really bad for Kevin, and I love Kevin. I think I love Kevin so else, much more now. I mean, I, I, love, I, mean, he's I also always love Kevin. Kevin. He looks so good. Kevin looks so good. But also, okay, I wrote down notes. Should I just share random thoughts I had? Yeah, yeah. But anyone out there who's not an thought. actual Joe Bro fan, I think you, you should probably, watch the documentary. Yeah, I was going to say you could probably them. turn this off now because this is what oh, we're I'm probably, just saying. You, I think you should watch the documentary and then listen to our album and then have your opinion because I hate when people are like, "Oh, they're so lame. They're so gay." It's like just how would you just listen to them? No. And watch the documentary because yeah, they're like, find out their story. There's like yeah. a whole story. Okay. Um, <laughs> my notes are so random. We'll my first them. note is: Wouldn't it be nice if we had some tissues? And then I, it's just <laughs> Nick singing that while he's on a T-Mobile sidekick. That was funny to uh-huh. me. Uh huh. Um, oh, yeah. I don't know. It's also such a such a story of like triumph, right? Like they. I think they, they didn't they actually signed, know how much they struggled. They um, were before. signed by Sony and then dropped. And I yeah. feel like that Columbia, the, Columbia, yeah, and which is which was Sony, right? Whatever. Oh, and then they were signed by Hollywood. Records. So they, it's like there's so many moments in like a celebrity's career where you lose something, you think it's never going to happen again, and then like it happened. But mm-hmm. I wrote Joe's straightened hair in 2008. Is sexual. everything. Lauren Holy loved his straightened hair. Shit. Shit. I yeah. didn't I like his straightened hair. I love his hair in the Australia part of the documentary like, where he's shit. just shit. Joe's straightened hair in 2008 is like the hottest oh, thing I ever. Yes. I never understood. You guys, Fine. I like moppy Joe. You guys, when Kevin's on the phone with Danielle, yeah. I mean, it, it is the greatest scene of all. Is, it's like the best. It's one of the best film scenes I've ever seen, and I cannot believe that they've been keeping it from us for like 11 years. That was 2007. You didn't guys, you just feel his heart racing. Trying it, to form words. That was the cutest, most real moment I've I'm ever looking seen between to you celebrities. Seeing you later. Yeah, <laughs> he is. No. I love him. I didn't love him as much as I love him now. Oh, he's always been so kind and gracious, um, even when we were the freakiest. Yeah. And the card game was such a good idea. Whoever produced oh, that. But, okay, so this was my big annoyance about the movie, and there was no annoyance. It was a great movie. It was just that from. I would have loved if they had centered the whole documentary around the card game. Yes. Because it I wasn't wanted... interweaved as well as it could have been. It no, should have been used as a motif. Enough. Totally. So you're a producer now, Ashley. See, I wanted it wasn't to... well produced I, as it could have been. I wanted it to go from a card scene into like a background and then yeah. back to the card scene and then into yeah. another storyline. But okay. that could have been their mission and they probably, you can only get so much it from the, the and 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 yeah. flow. But the last thing I'll say is the ballerina that said Joe had a small penis oh my God. is the real MVP of the fucking documentary. Yeah, I, I want to know like if she actually said that and, where and if she he actually it. does have a small yeah, penis. Yeah, I know. He almost like didn't really deny it. No, he didn't. I know. I, he's a small penis. Oh, he little Joe. I, he small <laughs> I, don't See, I, don't even, I don't mind. Joe could do no are wrong. Are you calling Joe little Joe or are you calling his little Joe? I don't little care. Joe? Just he, uh, I, think, I think it's cute that he almost admitted that he was very average if, at best. Um, favorite song on the album um, is not hesitant. For me, it's, it's the one I app. believe. I know for you, it's I believe. But I also do love Lauren's favorite. I which, love Only Human. I love the this. I love, I love how Human. it's like a Caribbean sound. The Caribbean sound throughout the first half of the album is magical. I have to say that, like from track one through Love Her, I'm obsessed with. Roller um, Coaster is my favorite. Roller Coaster is my, my favorite. favorite from the second part of the album. Roller yes. Coaster is 
fantastic. It gives me all the feelings. Yeah. Um, my ears are obsessed with I Believe. Like th- That's what yeah. my ears want to hear, but my heart... Feels roller coaster so much. It's very nostalgic. Person, I play roller coaster. Don't like throw 10 it away. Times in a row. Don't throw it away. That's is one of my one. very favorite ones too. Such a good one. Um, love her is like the cutest little like you know. It's it's love bug, but way better. The last three songs are are stellar, and I like actually like to love her. I love love her. I like how used to be um, seamlessly goes into every single time. Yeah, but it was it was a little bizarre in the sense where like the beginning of the album, obviously I'd already listened to Sucker and Cool. So when I heard Only Human, I was like, yes, this is going to be like a Miami kind of Caribbean type. But then it really takes a turn and it starts sounding like John Mayer and Shawn Mendes by the end. And I was like, this is weird. I think the front half is way better than this. It's just two different styles. Uh, They're the rhythmic, more um, reggae sound is in the beginning. And then it goes back to more of their original sound at the end. Way Joe Bro at the end. Um, Way Joe Bro. But I like the new sound better as a 31 year old. You know, right. and I wonder if the younger fans prefer the second part of the album, or the first part. You mean no, no, the second part. Oh, if they, if the they younger prefer... ones are more on our level, though. Yeah. Sound, I think so too. Oh, you no, would think the that... younger fans? Oh, you think so? I think like the more poppy stuff. Anyway, do you think that the more poppy? Which part do you think is more poppy? Like the sucker, half. cool, and only human. No, that's the See, poppier. To me, that's like R and B and reggae. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. I see. It's more okay. of like a rock undertone. At In the end. my head, I was using poppy as like radio. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Which is oh, yeah, no, relevant. I'm thinking of it's like, like yes, the top. No, yes, more relevant. Yes, yes. Yeah. You guys are right. Okay. Yeah. okay. Well, okay. thanks for listening to that our was random. very <laughs> concise job of on <laughs> Cruises and Jonas. Jonas. But those were my passions. That's what I wanted to get out there. Yeah. Thanks so. for listening to Cruises and Jonas. Um, Cruises and Jonas. <laughs> Maybe we should just call this cool. Because I feel like cool is like a crew. All right, we're gonna okay. go. To, uh, <laughs> I lost it. We're gonna go to Sue Plantation. I don't know. Oh I just feel God, like cool is so like very funny. a cruise song. I love you. You were so Summer Ashley song. in that moment. Cool cruise. Bye. Bye. Love you guys. Bye. Podcast. This podcast is brought to you by Wave Podcast Network. Check out all of our shows, including the Brain Candy Podcast, I Don't Get It, Coffee Convos, and Let's Talk About It.